Morning folks, uh, welcome to Jolly Boys, Sea Angling for All. Uh, turned up at uh, Dock Road, Connors Quay, on the D side in North Wales. Um, here on my own this morning. Trev was going to come, Trev Salisbury, another good mate of mine. Uh, couldn't make it today, so I'm here on my own. So well, I'm going to go and have a go on the back, on the flatties, go and have a bash, see how we go. Um, Bits today, squid, lug. Uh, mainly lug. Uh, Plounder's the main quarry. We'll see how we t how it takes. See, hopefully, get a few. Uh, this is the best weekend we've had in the last four, so hopefully we can do something. Uh, I'll bring you back as soon as I start fishing. Cheers for now. Right, folks. This is the mark, Dock Road. Uh, fishing by the railings. Fortunately, somebody's put a boat here. And uh, it's not supposed to be here. Yeah? He's supposed to have stopped you doing that. He's actually climbing over the railings to get onto the boat. If he falls, you kill himself. But there you go. If they ain't stopping him, there's nothing we can do about it. Um, as I said today, the main quarry is going to be is going to be flounder. It's on a, a good turn at the moment. I'm fishing the ebb and I'm going to fish it down to low water. Nice four hour sesh. Here you see, lovely scenery everywhere. Beautiful place, this. Beautiful place. Some good flounder caught here. You also pick up bass. You also pick up the odd sea trout. Uh, there's nothing you can do about that. Sea trout just take. Uh, you got to put them back, obviously. But it does happen. Uh, you get common silver eels here, uh, the odd dab, the odd place, not many, but you do get a few. Any road, uh, I'll bring you back once I start fishing. Thank you. And there we have it folks, first cast of the day, and there's a nice, nice flounder being caught. Ooh, only on, only just on the, on the lip and all as you can see. Yeah, very nice. Well happy with that. I'll go through my rigs in a minute. I'm sorry he's bleeding a little bit so I want to get him back. But yeah, around about a pound and a half. Very happy with that. Let's keep going, see how many we can end up with eh? Not bad, very first cast fish. That'll do for me. There we go folks. Nice flounder. Really happy with that one. Hang on, let me just get my camera so it's focusing properly. There you go. There you are. First flounder of the day for moi. Very happy with that. First cast, like I said, and it's very no well known here for flounder. I'm more than happy with that. I'll uh, get some more bait out now and uh, I'll go through my bait with you and then uh, I'll get back to you. Thank you. Hello, folks, back again. Like I say, uh, very good flounder fishing here. Um, it's a bit cold this morning, that's why I'm a, a bit wrapped up. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, that's what I use. Sticky blacks. Sticky blacks. I've had them in the fridge all week. Perfect for what I want. Uh, they do the job. i got squid with me, but I doubt very much I'll need it today. Uh, looks like the flounder are here. Um, plenty of flow in the water. Uh, like I said, I've had the first cast and I've had one around about a pound and a half, so I'm happy with that. Um, very first cast, so I'll uh, I'll rig up now and then uh, I'll get back to you. Thank you. Just shows you how easy the fishing is, I'm not even casting far. Folks, it's not bad to cast. Uh, I'll go through my rigs with you now. Um, just turn you this way so you can see me. Uh, I'll go in my box, get a rig out, show you. 
there's a few rigs that I do. Uh, I do make my own, but I also buy. These are the rigs I'm using at this moment in time. Made by a lad called Dave Soden Barton from Merseyside Fishing. Very good lad, makes some lovely rigs. And it's a two hook clip down flapper. Size one hooks, perfect. Can't go wrong, catch them every time with them. They practically hook themselves. Uh, the bait, like I said, sticky blacks and squid. Other than that, it's just catching flounder. Bring you back when I have another one. Set the other rod up now. You want there. I know where you are. Let's get this other rod set up. The other rig I use is from Rods and Rigs and they're a two hook clip down and all made by Anthony Parry who also runs Jensen Charters yeah, out of Rill. Very good rigs again, lovely clip downs, he uses SRT springs and all. Um, very good quality rigs, well worth the money, you know what I mean? I make rigs if and when I can, if I can't make rigs then I'll buy them. But I'll only buy them off certain people that I know use quality components. Yeah, the other rig maker is Paul Taylor Rig Shack. He's another good rig maker and his, his rigs are quality and all. So that's three good rig makers there. If you ever need any, 
you lads from around North Wales or from the Whittle, have a word with Paul, have a word with Dave or have a word with Anthony. Very good rig mate, it's three of them. Thank you. For blacks, it hasn't got to be for flounder, it hasn't got to be special, you know. That's it. Just a bit of squidgy black on a hook. Good enough. Like I showed you, I'm using the two up clip downs with squidgy black. Nice six ounce lead, grip lead, imp, and SRT springs. That's Tony's rig that. I've got Dave Mott, Dave Sword and Barton's rig on the other one. So hopefully uh, they'll pay dividends. I've had one cast and one fish already. Uh, just waiting now. So all we can do is be patient. They'll feed when they're ready. Uh, I'll probably just cast straight over the top of the head of that one. So <laughs> it's just luck, I think, per chance that I got one first cast. But we'll go, we'll carry on, we'll see what happens. And I'll bring you back if and when I get one. Thank you. Just hold that for me there, like that. Thank yeah. you. Ah, uh, well, like I said, I was waiting for a while. But I've just had my second fish. Uh, that's another flounder. So that's three casts, two fish up to now. I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. I'm enjoying it. Uh, get back to you when I get another one. Thanks very much. Hello, folks. Just had me dinner. Well, breakfast. Um, I have to eat certain times now, so I've had that. Um, I've had a second flounder. Uh, I have showed you. Put this up later on on YouTube. Hopefully you'll enjoy. Um, I've just rebaited, put out again. Thing about flounder fishing, it can be slow, really slow, and then again it can be prolific. Every cast, you know. But we'll have to take we take it as it comes. John's here. He made me a nice bacon butty. I was enjoyed that. Got to admit, it was really nice. Uh, he's setting up now. He's starting up to fish. I'll go down and have a word with him with this after. Uh, we'll see if he catches anything. The same as me. Uh, it's potluck at the moment. Uh, he's just giving me a few nice fresh razors, so I'm going to bang a great razor fish on with a lug bait. So we'll see if I can coax another one out. Uh, what time is it now? It's five past eleven. We'll be here till about half twelve, one o'clock. We've had a few hours fishing then. And we'll take it from there. It's a great place this. And it gets better as the summer goes on because then you'll have the, the bass moving. You'll have the, the flounder, the eel, the dam, the place. They all seem to move in. Um, the next episode. For me, there'll be another local man called Mosty. I'll be going on the bash there. See if I can uh, whittle out a way or up a nice place. We can try. Or Conga, any of them. Um, that'll be the next local mark. But next Saturday, I'm hoping to fish Anglesey. If I do, as I said, it will be recorded. And we'll see what we can get. Uh, we may blank. Then again, we may not. It'll be different tactics, different rods. Uh, we'll be going after conger eel, uh, cold fish, whatever, the, whatever's about. Uh, at the moment, our side of the, our side's not uh, fishing too well. Um, we had that oil leak apparently off the wind farm. very poor. The same with uh, the Mersey. The Mersey hasn't fished like it has. The cod disappeared this year, nobody's seen them. We've had the odd one, but not as prolific as other years, you know. I don't know what's going on there. It's been very quiet. But, uh, any road, enjoying the chat with you. Uh, I'll come back as soon as I can. Uh, 
hopefully have it up with another fish. So I'll speak to you later folks, alright? See you later. Well folks, it's died to death. I had that second fish and uh, nothing after. Mind you, what time is it? 20 to 12, you've got an hour and a half to low water. So we're slowly running out of the, the push now, the pull. So perhaps that's why it's gone quiet. I'm going to have another bash. I'm going to have one more bait out. I've took one rod down now. So I'm down to the one rod. I've kept the Enigma Kalima out, the Vicelli. Uh, the other rod I was using is a Tubertini F1 Metallica 300. Awesome rod. In the intro, if you have a look at the intro, that's what I landed the ray on, was the Tubertini. It's got some got some guts in it, it's a strong rod. Um, what can I say? I had two casts, two fish. I've put quite a few baits out since then. Um, it's just died, died to death. I've lost the rig on this guy with his boat here, that's not supposed to be here. And uh, I lost the rig on his chain and a lead got it about that but there you go if I'd have lost it on the out there I wouldn't have cared but to lose it on something that shouldn't be there how he's getting away with it I don't know because he's not supposed to be there but it's not for me to say is it at the end of the day um, I suppose he gets all to move it sooner or later we've got uh, another I'm gonna give it another hour at the most uh, I might pack, even pack up before that, you know. Uh, I've really enjoyed, really enjoyed it today. It's been, it's been all right. Been here on my own, I chilled out, and then John turned up, made me a bacon sarnie, and I enjoyed that. And then, and I've enjoyed catching the two fish, like. And uh, what can one say, you know? I haven't blanked. That's the main thing. Uh, for the first outing as a Jolly Boys YouTube channel. Uh, I hope you enjoy this little bit of a video. It's not going to be a long one because I wasn't going to be here long, you know. Uh, next week's might be because uh, we'll be doing a few hours out there. Uh, like I said, hopefully, weather depending, we'll be doing Anglesey. If the weather's against us and it's a southwesterly, a strong southwesterly, then we'll do Mosty. Um, it'll be one or the other. Uh, we'll decide on the day. So um, I'll bring you back if I catch another fish, mate. All right, speak to you soon. Folks. Well, folks, no more fish. We've had them two. First two casts. Then after that, nothing. I don't know what's what's happened. Whether they've had enough or whatever. Uh, still going. There's still a bit of flow in the water. Just no fish. But with it being close to low water, I'm just wondering, because it's the river deep and it is the proper estuary, this, at Connors Key, uh, whether there's a, a lot of fresh water moving in after all that rain we've had through the week. More than likely, that's what's going on. So I'm going to pack up now. And, uh, I've had two or three hours, I've had two fish, I've had two good fish, one around about a pound and a half, the other one just over the pound mark, so I'm happy with that. The quality was flounder, I caught flounder, so I'm happy with that one. Um, oh, I've just had a pull down. I'll leave it for a minute and see if it develops into anything. That was a nice little pull down, that was. But uh, it can also be weak because of the flow. Uh, I've had that before. Uh, I'll leave you for now. Well folks, that's it. End of another day. Another day's fishing. Uh, only ended up with the two. Just arrived home. Uh, I'm sorry about the sun. There's not a lot I can do about it. Uh, except stand in the middle of it like that. I and hope you can see me. Uh, ended up with two flounder. Had one first cast. Had one second cast. As soon as the flow slowed down. That was it. Dead end. Nothing after. Uh, give it a bash for a while, nothing. The worms from uh, Harry's Tackle and Baiting Rill, Rob, 
good mate of mine, Rob, and all. Uh, very good. Cheers, Rob. Briggs, but off Dave Sword and Barton, and again off Anthony Harrison. I had one on each rod, both caught, both caught, very good rigs, good quality components. You can't ask for any better than that. Uh, I do like to make my own rigs, as you'll see in uh, future episodes. I'll uh, be doing a few rig making ones and all, just to show you the odd little bit. Not a lot because I don't I don't make rigs that often now with work and other little things I do. Uh, I just haven't got the time, so I go for quality, and uh, there's no better quality than the, the lads I've mentioned, and inclusive of Paul Taylor of Rick Shack. He's good enough. He's, he's, he's again quality rigs. The three lads I've mentioned: Anthony Parry, Dave Sobenbart, and Paul Taylor. Anybody ever needs rigs, give them three lads a shout, mate, because they, you have good rig, you have good rigs off them. There's no ifs, no buts. They work, they do the business, and they catch the fish. So that's all you need. Obviously, you need the rod, reel, and whatever. <laughs> and they know how and know where the fish are and know what they're taking. But, uh, yeah, I've enjoyed it. It's been a good day. Apart from getting home and finding out my team leads got thrashed again. 4-0 by Tottenham. Ah, well, it's one of them. If we go down, we go down. Then if we go down, we deserve to go down. There's nothing we can do about it. We've had a good time. We've enjoyed it. I've been a Leeds fan all my life, and I'll be a Leeds fan till the day I draw my last breath, as I will be a fisherman. So thanks for watching, folks. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, what can I say? Next week, hopefully, Anglesey. Weather depending, wind depending. Wind's picking up now. Um, I'm glad I got from there when I did. You know, the tide will be on the turn now. So the wind will come in with the tide like. Um, but uh, all in all, been a good day. I didn't blank, that's the main thing. I went out there, I wanted to show you me catching the flounder. I caught a flounder, that'll do me. You know what I mean? It's all about catching fish at the end of the day. That's what it's about. And getting away and enjoying yourself, which is what I did. So there you go. Uh, bring you back next week, hopefully, to another good episode. Uh, we'll decide where we're going by the middle of the week once we know what the weather's going so thanks a lot folks thanks for watching this is Brooksy saying see you next week <laughs>